Oh, okay, okay. I see you excited. Slow down a little bit. Be careful. If you haven't seen season three of The Chosen, there are spoilers ahead. This is your spoilers warning. Something God has been teaching me consistently is about asking, seeking, and knocking. And that is what I did in order to obtain this The Chosen season three poster from my movie theater. I went a little bit earlier this year and I was like, hey, do y'all ever give away your movie posters? And they were like, yeah, sometimes. And I was like, okay, cool. And they were like, yeah, just come out the day that it releases. We'll give you one. And so it was released last night. So I went to go ask for a post. And they are like, uh, sorry, bro. We'll come back maybe in a week. So tonight, whenever me and my family and some friends went to go watch it, I asked again after we watched it. And they are like, oh, yes, sir. Let me unlock that for you immediately. They got it out. And that was actually even after a guy had already told me, uh, yeah, I can maybe put your name down for in a week or whatever. Let me go get my manager. And it was the manager that was like, let me hook you up. And just took that out. And I just thought that was a really cool opportunity of how I asked and I thought and I knocked and I received. But what about the times whenever we ask and we seek and we knock and God answers in a way differently than we think? Well, this is how I think Season 3, Episode 2 of The Chosen presents this really well. As I was talking with family and friends about what stood out to them most, one of the things that they mentioned a lot and that definitely stood out to me was little James at the end talking to Jesus about his flaw, his imperfection, his weakness, and his illness. Let's not overlook it for what it is. It is a sickness and during this interaction with little James Jesus talks about what it looks like to worship God through your imperfection and I thought that was really cool because even earlier today during my devotional I was reading 2 Corinthians 12 9 because I've been going through 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians and today I was on 2 Corinthians 12 and it talks about and he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And I just thought, wow, that's like very cool that this is relating with little James directly into what I was learning earlier today. And just kind of about how little James, it was almost like he was asking, but he wasn't asking. He was just talking with Jesus. He was like, hey, I've got this struggle. And... Why have you not fixed it? Jesus looks at him and just bluntly says, I could, but what if your struggle is being used to worship and glorify God in such a way that if I were to fix this struggle, that me fixing it could never reach that capacity. And I just thought that was really cool that God uses our strengths, yes, but he also uses our weaknesses so that he may be glorified. I'd love to pray for you real fast before you head out and just pray for really whatever need or struggle, whatever in that kind of category God has laid on your heart for you right now. Um, I just want to pray for it. Dear yeah, my Father, Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. Lord, just to pray with my friend. Lord, I thank you that they are forgiven. Lord, that they are chosen, that they are loved. Lord, Lord even in the midst of that, Lord, when you choose to say yes or no or wait or maybe even that a weakness is glorifying you, Lord, we thank you for that. We praise you for that. Lord, I pray for my friend, Lord. And Lord, that they would just bless your name. Lord, even as they talked about in The Chosen tonight, Lord, with the verse in Job. Lord, just blessing your name. Lord, no matter our circumstance. Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for that. I thank you for my friend. I thank you that we can worship and glorify you. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. God bless. Adios.